everyone, it's Side here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Atrio. And in the last episode, well, we unleashed the deer. I say unleashed, we released him from his painful prison, or whatever the heck you want to call it. We put him inside of that little tiny baby mechanical deer, and then he just frolicked away doing his own thing. Never saw him again, or her. It. Never saw it again. But... After that, we got back to the heart box and we gave him the chip and it turns out we have to make a whole bunch of food so that we can finish Project Human and it takes a whole bunch of seeds which we didn't have yet. So actually, let me just break these lights while I'm down here just to save a little bit of power. We lost one of those guys, so that's okay. I don't think it's going to matter. Anyway. Now we have, I went over there, I grabbed some cabbage seeds, I grabbed some soybean, and I grabbed some potato seeds, and away we go. We're ready to rumble here. So the first thing I want to do is turn this back down so that we can save on some power. Now, they have updated the game so that frogs no longer just continuously suck forever, which is great. But I'm still dealing with trying to put stuff into storage... Hopefully, we finish this soon. It, uh... We're getting kind of full. I might have to add another row of chests here soon. Anyway, as you will see over here... If there's items in front of these guys, they just stop being on. They don't work anymore, which is awesome. I don't know why that wasn't implemented sooner, but... There we are. It's implemented now. So that is better than nothing. I'll take what I can get at this point. Let me mm -mm. try and catch this deer. Mm, it's not. It's not. At least my frames aren't that bad over here anymore. Like, this is pretty good. I think we got rid of most of them. Two, four, six chests full. That, that was a lot of items. <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's start setting up a farm after I catch this deer. Yeah. Okay, we caught that guy. Let's set up a farm over here, I think. I want to keep it close to the tin. Uh, the iron, or whatever you want to call it. So, we're going to need three new farms. And I'm not totally sure how I want to set this up yet. We're going to need... 18 of these bad boys if that's what we're gonna do we're gonna need three frogs which i'm pretty sure we have and we're gonna need a whole bunch of pumps there's my frogs i don't believe i have any pumps right now let's get some of this stuff out of my inventory we don't need health packs anymore well honestly we don't even need stun bombs anymore well i'll keep them i'll keep them in case we want to capture some more deer Okay, so there's that. I think that's looking pretty good. I don't need two stacks of green batteries. All right, so we got the pushbacks, which I'm not even sure why we have the pushbacks, honestly, but we have them. And what I need to do is make a bunch more farms. 18. We're going to need a few more beehives, which I th think I saw in one of these chests, or I saw honey at least. Yeah, we got honey. Oh, there's beehives. That's probably enough. And then we're going to need a bunch of pumps too. And what does it take to make pumps again? More electrolyte ingot, scrap metal. Oh, we're going to need more scrap metal. Okay, so maybe we should start with the scrap metal first thing. Start bringing scrap metal down here. And I think I want it to be on this side of the blood iron. Or the blood, blood, whatever you want to call that stuff. If I can manage. Come on. Come on, let me go. Yes. If we can keep it on this side, I think it's going to be better for us in the long run. Because I don't need to cross over. Perfect. All right, so I've run all the way around here. What we need to do now... I think what I need to do is get this belt to go... Yeah, I think what I want to do is get this belt to go over this other one so that I can have a full belt of iron going through or iron ore okay that should work then we're going to need 
this over here. Is it still lit up in there? Seems like it's lit up enough to work anyway. Okay, we're gonna need some scrap metal, which takes these guys. In, in, in. In, in. Change that to scrap. Change that to scrap. There we go. We are now making scrap metal. Thank you guys so much for pointing that out to me. I was complaining for so long. I was like, why is this not a thing? Well, it turns out that it actually is a thing. So, anyway, there we go. Okay, and I need to take a few of the scraps so that I can actually make more of these factories because right now I don't have enough to make more. So that shouldn't be too bad. Let's take those. I need one more even. I want to get a few, maybe like three more of these. That should be enough. Well, I guess only two more because I can't, I can't run these belts over here. Although I could jump over. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's jump over. That should be more than enough to feed, to feed this belt. Okay. There we go. We're sending that over. Oh, I need a pushback. I almost forgot about the pushback. Let's put this guy right here. And that should allow us to spend twice as much stuff over there. I was thinking this belt was going to be full, but... I guess one one jumper is probably enough anyway. But that is looking pretty good. And now that that is over, we should be having all the scrap iron we could ever want down here, which is perfect. Let's grab that. I don't know why I picked one of these up. That was an accident. No. Can I can I force this in there? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I can't. Maybe I can just stick it on here. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so now we're getting all this scrap iron, scrap metal, and we needed that to start making water pumps. And we didn't need it for planters, but we need it for water pumps. So there's that. We're going to need 12 water pumps for three farms. So, okay, we got, we got all the scrap metal we're going to need for those. And okay, all that stuff we can just go grab. Let's go get it. Okay, I think we have everything that it's going to take to set up these farms, or at least I hope we do. So where do I even want to start now is kind of the thing. Let's start with the toads, because then that kind of lays out the farms for us after that. Where do I want to put these things, though? Something like this. We need to leave a few squares in between or this isn't going to work. So that should be fine. I think that's fine. Let's do a jump pad over to here. And then a jump pad over to here. Uh, nope. No, no, no. That's not right. Once I stop misclicking, we should be good to go. Okay, there we go. Let, let's do that. This is going to jump over this. And this is going to jump over this and jump over this. Okay, that's going to be our three vegetables right there. Bam, bam, bam. Awesome. Now we need our planters, which I should have all of the required planters. I do. And we're going to want to do something like this. One, two, three, four. Oh, do these take fertilizer? I bet these are going to take fertilizer, aren't they? Oh, I knew it! I knew it! They all take fertilizer. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Okay, that's fine. First things first is getting the planters set up and in the right spot. In the right spot. The right spot. Okay. Did I make... Oh no, I need one more. There we go. And something like this. Okay. I still... Something is still funny here. That guy's doing his thing. Why aren't these equal? I think I forgot. These are supposed to be over one. That's the problem. 
Okay, they're supposed to look like this. Now we're gonna have potatoes. Nope. Potato. That is not potato. Potato. We are going to have soybean. Uh, soybean. And we're going to have cabbage. Cabbage. There we go. Oh, I gotta reset all these factories. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So all those are set. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to bring the fertilizer. And we are going to output onto some belts. So how this is going to work is I'm gonna need another light bulb somewhere. And we're going to get a bunch of dispenser chests, which can I just make those? I just need wires. Okay, let's make a bunch of dispenser chests and then we'll work out how the how the logistics is going to work over there. We're going to need one belt for fertilizer, one belt for water. Similarly on this guy, except that tree is in a really bad spot. Ay, caramba. I wonder if we can put it up here and then just stick a jumper belt in here to make up the difference perhaps we can sure try okay and then we're going to need another fertilizer and another water okay and then we're going to come down here where our fertilizer pit is and we're going to get a pushback hopefully to take half of those resources back oh that light bulb is in the way Okay, hang on. We'll just move it over a little bit. That should fix it. Okay, push back. Like that. Now, is he going to... Oh. This belt's not moving, so he's going to get all plugged up. Uh, you know what we're going to want to do? I think we're going to want to have the pushback push onto this system over here so all of the stuff that goes this way will end up going back to our new factory and everything that goes this way will go that way yeah because at least that way we should always have we should always have fertilizer coming this way. And then we just got to leapfrog it all the way through here. And then we're going to need another pushback. Uh, I think we might actually need a couple because we have to split this three ways. We need to split this three ways. So one pushback will be here. And then we can have another one. Will it fit in here? We can have another one in here. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's see. Okay, that looks sort of fine. It's not going to be evenly split, but I, I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. Anyway, we'll deal with that when we have to first things first let's get some fertilizer going we're gonna need bees I almost forgot about bees or this none of this is gonna work where are my beehives there they are we'll stick them in here in this empty space or just wherever they'll fit I think they'll fit where wherever they'll fit is good for me Except why are they going to those flowers? They're... Oh, because these don't have water yet. Okay, they don't, those don't have water yet. That's fine. So, next thing is we got to get that fertilizer all the way up. All the way up into that other spot. Eek. So we should be able to jump over this. Oh, God. This is going to be very messy. But you know what? Instead of having that push back there. 
why don't I put one up here? Because then we can just straight up split this belt over. And this one can just go up. Come on. Oh, I, I hate how you can't run through some of this stuff or between it or whatever. Okay, and then that can go up and into there. Okay, so that is starting to do its thing. Although, you know what? I gotta stop this or it's gonna plug up everything. And the last one's gonna come up here and I'm out of belts. And the last one is going to come up here. And go right in there. I think I need one more belt. Yes. Okay, now the fertilizer is all set up. Oh, see, this is what I was worried about. It's getting all plugged up here. It's getting all plugged up. Okay, we need water. So now what I need to do is figure out how the water system is going to look. And I wonder if it's easier to get water from up here. It probably is because the water is... Well, it's still pretty far away, isn't it? But it's not so bad. Let's try it. Where are my pumps? We're going to need to set up 12 pumps. All of the pumps. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I need them all. Perfect. That actually works out just perfect. Okay, now we're making water. And then the water should be the same kind of scenario as the fertilizer. We're going to need two pushbacks to split it off two times. And some of it's going to go... Let me... Uh-oh. Let me stop this so that it doesn't plug up everything. But once we hook up this one... And we hook up... Oh god, how am I even going to do this? We need a jumper belt. Okay, that one's going to go in here. And this one's all plugged up as well. Let's get the fertilizer out of here. Okay. Why aren't these taking water? Is it because they don't have seeds? Oh, this is water paste! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake. Water paste! Okay, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop this. Stop this madness. That's why we have these deer. I'm assuming. I'm, I'm assuming they eat water and turn it into water paste water paste takes 10 seconds for one. Oh, these are not going to be able to keep up at all these are not going to be able to keep up at all so i think what we're going to end up having to do is well first of all stop that before bad things happen i think we're gonna have to drop these down to something more reasonable because we can't actually produce that much stuff not with what we have anyway and these have to be the same ratio or they will not work so we'll turn them down for now and we'll we'll see if we have a backup we can always turn them up later but let's start low and then go high so that belt is already feeding into there i just need one more belt to feed into here and that should be good. There we go. We're making beans or soybeans. We're making cabbage. Kind of. Uh, we don't have water coming down yet. Let's finish connecting that back up. That should start working. This should start working. And we now have all of the farms somewhat automated. We'll see how this works. Okay, while that's doing its thing, we should be able to start making some cans. We're going to need cans. 
Uh, where are they? Automation, energy, where the heck are cans? You'd think they'd be in here. But I don't see them. Oh, is it a... Is it a forge thing? Let's make one of these. Is it in there? I don't see it in here. Okay, let's try the forge really quick. Maybe it's in here. There they are. Metal can. Okay, so we're going to need two more of those bad boys. And then we're going to be making metal cans. Now, I don't know exactly which way I want to go with this stuff. I was going to send everything down this way, but I think... Whoops. I think maybe that is not the play anymore. I think going out into this area is probably a little bit better. So... Let's pick up this beans. We will send all of the stuff out out into the bottom and we'll jump over that belt and we'll head off to a new factory out that way so something like that 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 and that's not going to be good enough because we're not going to have room let's just go all the way across then we know we'll have room there we go so we have all of our stuff going to be coming in this way. All of our fancy vegetables. Get out of the way, potato. Okay, this is looking good. We can make a couple more of these. Well, at least one more, two more, three more. That's all we can make for now. I don't have room for any more. <laughs> I hope that's not going to be a problem. Okay, we've got cans. We've got vegetables. Uh, I think that's all we're going to need. I'm out of belts again, but that's okay. Let this farm kind of do its thing. Now that the patch is out and the frogs aren't going to just go forever, that shouldn't be too big of a deal anymore. And just as I suspected, we still need more chests. But the leg is starting to get better here, so I think I'm just going to leave it now. I think we got most of them cleaned up. What's going on with my cabbage? I gotta clean this up. There we go. It was all backed up with fertilizer. Same thing with this one. I think we gotta get the water. I think I need to put some water in here. Okay, those are working. Perfect. Let's get the lights going. We're gonna need our factories over here to start producing us all that fancy vegetable stuff. Oh, I still... Oh, yeah, we got belts. Okay, we got belts now. Run this over here. Run this up. Run this up. Run this up. How long does it take for each one of these things to make something? Uh, four seconds only? We might only need one of each of these, honestly. That's not bad. Four seconds? We can deal with that. We'll go like... This, how do I want to do this? Actually, this should work. Right? I just gotta move this light over a little bit. And then we can have our three factories going. This one can be for the cabbage. Or wait, what is this one even for? Cabbage. Oh crap, it needs something else. <gasps> I forgot about the other thing. Oh, blood cubes and computer chips. Oh God. Oh no. Hang on. We got to check something. Okay, we can make wires. We can make scrap wires out of sap. We can make wires out of scrap metal and wires. Okay. Heart chip. Okay, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so to make a computer chip, we need transistors and we need wires. We're already making transistors, kind of. We might have to up the production a little bit because we're not making them fast enough. And wires are pretty simple to make now, actually. So that's not too big of a deal. Although we are going to need more mini deer. Because we're kind of using them all up now. 
so we might have to go on a mini deer rampage. I know I could make them, but that just seems like a huge pain in the butt when I could just capture them. <laughs> you know, against their will. There we go, like that. So these things are going to plug up now, but it doesn't really matter because the toad's not even working anymore either. So I can just pick up the water off these things just to get them going. But it doesn't really matter that they're plugged up for now. What we do need is... Okay, let me double check. We needed wires, and for wires we needed sap paste. Okay. And sap paste... Is that the stuff that comes from the trees, or is that the stuff that comes from the deer? That is the stuff that comes from the deer. Okay. So we can jack up the production here a little bit of sap paste. It looks like we have enough trees to produce more. But we don't have enough deer to actually use what we're producing. So let's jack this up a little bit. That should help. Oh, there's another deer right there. You made a mistake. You're in the wrong neighborhood, buddy. Look at that. You know, I just started thinking about it, and I have a lot of wires already built up. Because I was going to start putting... Well, I mean, we've already got this spot set up. I probably will at some point put the wire factories here. But I know I have a whole bunch of wires already. I have them already made. Or I took them off of stuff. I thought I had a bunch of wires. Maybe I lost them. Okay, there's a hundred right there. I thought we had even more. Yeah, there's another 58, and I've got even some wire... Some wires made already, so that's... A pretty good start. It's probably not enough. We're probably gonna need those right away, too. We'll take them. Yeah, that might not be enough, but... It's at least a start. So let's just set up a small factory over here. To make us... These... Uh, computer chips. Let's do computer chips first. Or wires. Oh my god, we need so much stuff! I think I have to make a whole electronic factory area. Because... I don't... We need to make wires. And then we need to make computer chips. And then we need to make these. Yeah. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. But not in this episode. We're probably going to have to go ahead and do that in the next episode. Make an electronics factory. I don't know how big it's going to have to be. But maybe... Maybe up in here? What all does it take again? We're already making those... We're already making those... Is it... Whoop. Not those. Those things. The blood cubes. We're already making those. So that's not a problem. Computer chips aren't that bad. But we do have to get transistors over here. So perhaps we start shipping the corrosive pedals. Because I don't want to ship the scrap metal over there. And then ship the transistors back. Yeah. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So I think we're going to have to send the pedals from here over to here. And then do stuff with them over here. But yeah, that's going to be the next episode, guys. I hope you're liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.